Hey there, Sharon Hornelstrom here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. S-H-E are my initials, so what's she up to now? I'm just documenting my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar world, the world of real businesses, to the online world and how I help businesses add an online component to their business. I'm not purporting that all businesses should be online businesses. I don't believe that. A lot of my marketing and sales friends that are online and internet marketers believe that, but I absolutely positively do not. Which leads me to the topic of today. In this video, I wanna talk about what I stand for and what I stand against. I said that as part of the Daily Scare Share, I would share what I stand for in a Facebook Live. This is not that, but I did dig out a little notebook that this is kind of like my little cheat stories inventory notebook and I found two pages of things that I like and dislike and so there's way too many I thought I would just run through some of the things that I dislike so these are the things that I don't stand for I don't support and they're just random brainstormed lists but I thought it might be interesting because it's my way of filtering out people that shouldn't listen to me that I don't want to work with and that you don't want to work with me. So what are the some of the things that I dislike? Handy dandy magnifying glass. I love magnifying glasses. If it weren't for magnifying glasses and I've always got usually a couple right by me, I wouldn't be able to function. I have visual challenges, literally eye challenges, and they make it possible for me to do what it is that I do. So I love magnifying glasses, which is not something I don't stand for because I do stand for magnifying glasses. So what are some of the things I dislike? Getting rid of stuff. I think my ex-husband and my children can attest to that. I am a collector. Um, letting things go. I'm not particularly awesome at letting things go. Surprise, surprise. Um, I don't like super edited photos. I don't like sketchy places. I don't like going to places that make me feel uncomfortable or that make me feel unsafe or that I'm around a bunch of people that just make me feel on edge or nervous. I don't like being involved in situations like that. I don't like running. Last time I ran, I set off my ICD. So unless there's a bear or a lion chasing me, you will not catch me running. Um, I don't like getting lost. I like to know where I'm going. I like to have some sort of direction in terms of knowing where I'm going. I love cars with GPS now. I loved GPSs. What were they called? Nuvi or something when, when they first came out before they were installed in all the cars and vehicles nowadays. Love those because I want to know where I'm going and the different routes to get there knowing that there's always multiple routes to get there, but I want to know how to get there. And now all of our phones have that technology, so I don't ever have to worry about getting lost again. I don't like losing things or forgetting things. That's why I've got this amazing skill of finding not only my own stuff, but other people's stuff as well. I don't know if it's a superpower, but it works out really well for me and for other people. I don't like being late. And I think that comes from years and years of raising my children and being late all the time. Or for, from trying to start meetings in corporate America or even not in corporate America where we are doing meetings or holidays or whatever. And people, some people are just always late. I find it kind of rude and disrespectful. And I hated when I was late because I felt like I was being rude and disrespectful of other people's time. Um, I don't like waiting in line. I don't know, I'm very impatient. So waiting in lines makes me crazy. If I have to wait in line for a restaurant, I'm going to another restaurant because there's always, Jesus, there's a billion of them on the planet. It's one for every eight people. I don't have to wait in line in any restaurant. There is no food, no chef so good that I'm gonna wait to eat his or her food. Um, details and mechanics. I can do detailed mechanical work and repetitive work and statistics and things like that. I don't like it. I like to look at the big picture and share the big picture strategy and help people identify what that is and then actually outsource the little detailed actions that have to get done to support that strategy. So I'm more of a big picture gal. Um, again, I can do those things. I don't love them and we shouldn't do things that we don't love. Um, I don't like people that don't take personal responsibility for their life, for their actions, for their outcomes, for their choices, for their emotions, for their behavior. I don't like that. I don't like when I try to blame or make excuses. And so I don't like that in other people as well. I don't like rules. If you can imagine that. I'm not really a rule breaker. I am more of a ask for forgiveness 
don't ask for permission kind of person. So I'm not very inclined to love rules. Like if I have to call customer service for a big company, and I won't name any because I've had battles with many, um, especially in the banking and lending industry, I, I don't like calling them. Even my cell phone provider. Have you ever tried to call your cell phone provider? Nightmare. Uh, I, I think they skipped the customer service part of doing business successfully. Moving. I hate moving. I figured out today that this is my 17th move and I'm 58 years old. So really that's not very many moves considering a lot of people move a lot more often than that. But it's too many for me. I like to have a home front, a base of operations that I can travel out of and go and do my thing. But I always like to have that home front to come back to. And I don't want to move that very often because I am that collector. I have a lot of stuff that I've collected and I don't want to move it, but I'm moving it. I don't like talking on the phone, which is probably surprising and amazing to a lot of people, but I have never liked talking on the phone. I like voxing with my coaching students. Love that because it's a quick and easy um, walkie-talkie type of communication. It's very efficient. To me, talking on the phone is right up there with small talk. Not one of those things that I love. And I don't even think I've got small talk on the list, but it's going to go on the list. Other things I dislike. I dislike haters. I dislike people that are just miserable and spread their hate and, and spew their negative emotion onto other people for no apparent reason except to be judgmental and mean and to try to make themselves feel better. Don't like that. Don't tolerate it. Will respond, not in kind, but will respond in a way that reveals you to everyone else on the planet. Because you've already revealed yourself as a hater by behaving in inappropriate and silly ways. Silly, immature ways that show your ego and not really anything positive that the world needs to see. I hate shopping. I I miss the shopping gene when it was handed out. Uh, my sisters are horrified and my mom that I hate shopping, but I hate shopping. I think it's a waste of time. I also hate housework. I think housework is a waste of time. I made a deal with my ex-husband when we got married that I would cook and do everything else and help take care of the, do the kids and stuff if he would clean the bathrooms. If he would just clean the bathrooms in the house, then that was that was a deal. That, that was part of the reasons I decided to marry him. I don't like boring things or being boring or routine things that are the same day in and day out. Now, I do like rituals and habits that are positive and move me in the direction I want to go. I love creating those systems for myself for success, but I don't like boring routine things for the sake of just doing them. I don't like boring things at all. I want to always be learning and growing and finding out new things. Um, Negative people. I don't like negative people. I don't like being around negative energy. I call them energy vampires. I don't like negative people. Um, have I been a negative person in the past? Absolutely. We all have. But since I don't like that and I don't like it in other people, it's because it resides in me and I don't like it in myself especially. I don't like cleaning. Any kind of cleaning or detailed cleaning. Um, I think it's because I've had to clean up too many businesses and too many houses in the past. And so I just don't like cleaning. I don't like ironing. I choose my clothes. And what part of why I'm a pajama grandma is I don't have to iron robes and, and pajamas. <laughs> Seriously, sad. But if I have to iron something, I probably won't wear it. So I have a whole closet full of clothes I don't wear because I would have to iron them before I wear them. Actually, most of the things in my closet are already ironed. Um, but I actually spent years getting rid of clothes and not buying clothes that have to be ironed. Because I think ironing is... It's boring and repetitive and ridiculous and tedious and I don't like ironing. Um, I don't like, and I love people, but I don't like, I don't want to be normal or average or boring or just like everybody else. I adore people that are being their authentic, weird ass self, whoever they are. And I value that in myself. I value that I get to be who I am. And that means I get to let everybody else be who they are too. I don't have to like it. I don't have to agree with it. I don't have to even judge it or think about it. It's not my life, but I don't ever want to be normal or average. I think that ship has sailed. So I think I'm okay there. I don't like excuse makers or blamers or judgers or comparison making people or gossips or um, unnecessary drama. And I will admit this week, my life has been filled with unnecessary drama. Now, the trick is none of it belongs to me. None of it is my drama. But when it affects people I know, love and care about, it gets spilled into my drama. And so I start cutting out negative 
energy vampire, dramatic people, I just out of my life. I just don't have any time for them. My, my time is too valuable. All I've got is my time. All we've got is our time. Our time is our most valuable, precious resource. And if we're squandering on haters and jealous and negative, judgmental, greedy assholes, what the heck? They're, they're stealing our time and our life and our experiences from us. So I just don't deal with them. Out of my life. I don't like watching TV or listening to the radio. In my 20s, I gave up TV as part of a training challenge, a one-week challenge. I love challenges. I even liked challenges 35 years ago. Uh, a challenge to not watch television for an entire week, and it stuck. I never, I never really watched television again after that. Now, I will admit, I do love movies. I love movies, and I love Netflix and some shows because I can choose to watch on my time, and I control what goes into my brain. Nothing outside of me controls what goes into my brain, which is another reason I don't like listening to the radio. My only time of peace and quiet when I was working in corporate America, because I was raising a family, working in corporate America, super busy volunteering and doing other things. The only time I had peace and quiet was when I was commuting to and from work in my car. That was my time to plan and think and recharge my my brain so that I could deal with all the things that were going on in my life. So that's when I stopped listening to the radio and I, I never went back again because when I listened to the radio, I realized that my thoughts are not my own. Someone else is is planning and affecting and controlling my thinking and I don't want that. I want to be in charge of my thinking and my emotions and my feelings and what my mind is spending time and energy on. I don't like spiders. I don't like snakes. Anything that can move that fast without legs, I'm not okay with that. I don't like um, scary animals. And scary animals, I don't know, I guess animals that could chase me and cause me to have to run. Um, it's fun when I can't read my own writing. It says I don't like grilling, but I do like grilling. I like to eat grilled foods, but I don't like to be the one cooking on the grill. I don't like liars, cheaters, or scoundrels. <laughs> I think I already said assholes. Egotistical assholes. They're almost my favorite now because they're so comical. Or people that are bullying. I, I just get the biggest kick out of them because they are so showing the world exactly who they are. Um, I can't read my writing. But takers. I don't like takers. Um, people that just take, take, take. Kind of like those ask holes, people that just ask, 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 but they don't really ever act upon what you teach them. Um, so I guess ask holes, as a, in addition to takers, would be on my list. Um, people that want you to do everything for them, but they don't understand that the power is in them actually taking the action and doing it themselves. Um, I'm not awesome at organizing. I love things to be organized and I can organize things and be awesome. I can be really good at it. I'm terrific at creating systems and processes and procedures. But as far as organizing, you know, little things, I find it annoying. Again, it's because it's that little detailed, tedious stuff that I just rather have somebody do for me. Come organize my kitchen. Just tell me where stuff is. And then I love it. I don't care where you put stuff. Just everything should have a place where I know that it goes. And that's, so I love organized things. I just don't necessarily want to be the one that does the organizing. Um, I, I hate showers. I think that's probably weird. I love baths and bubble baths, but I hate showers. Some people love showers. I don't like showers. I like baths and bubble baths. Um, I don't like weighing myself. And that comes from my youth where I had challenges with my health, which impacted my weight. And so I hate weighing myself. I haven't had a scale for, I think, 20 years. I just don't weigh myself except when I go to the doctor, go see my cardiologist. And I don't like that either. I hate weighing myself. I just like to lead a healthy lifestyle. Um, I don't like doctor appointments. I don't like dental appointments. And that's because I had braces and it was miserable. I don't like haircuts as you can tell because my hair is way too long and scary philistillery um, but I don't like haircuts I don't like pedicures I don't like anybody touching my feet or legs no idea why just don't like it um, I can't read the last oh people that don't think for themselves the last one I have on here is people that don't think for themselves I think that when you don't think for yourself you're giving away your personal power I don't ever want to give away my personal power so I I struggle with people that, that don't think for themselves. So 
That is my quick and dirty list of things I don't stand for. So if you see yourself in any of those things, not if you randomly see yourself in those things, because I see myself in all those things, which is why I don't like them, why I push against them, why I don't want them in my life. But we all have bits and pieces of that. We are not all good or evil. We are a mix of both, a, an amazingly unique blend of crazy, chaotic, both. We just display certain things more than others. Maybe tomorrow I will share the things I do stand for because I thought this was really fun and therapeutic for me at least, saying all the things that I dislike and therefore the things I stand against or push against. Um, that's it. What do you, what do you do this with me today? Do this exercise. What do you dislike? Just brainstorm a whole list of the things that you dislike. And then I'll challenge you to look at that list and ask yourself, why do I dislike those things? Well, I personally dislike those things because I have been all of those things at some time in my past and I've experienced it and I've decided I don't want to be that way. Therefore, I don't want to interact with people that are that way. I did a huge stint in the real estate industry where I dealt with, holy man, mean, asshole, negative, disrespectful, rude people from a, in the loss mitigator industry, and it was absolutely soul-sucking. And that's part of where a lot of these dislikes came from is these are the type people I don't ever want to work with. And you should only work with the type people that you want to work with. You should only be in relationships with the type people that you want to be in relationships with and surround yourself with those people. Surround yourself with people that make you feel awesome and that you may feel awesome in exchange. That's it. Go out, make it a fantastic day. That's what I'm thinking about today. Of course, I got my own usual stuff. I've got interviews. I've got coaching students. I've got all kinds of fun, fun, fun stuff that isn't boring and makes me excited to be alive and know that I am spending my time making the world a better place because that's what I'm all about. Pajama Grandma out. See you tomorrow. Bye.